Hello, 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 and welcome back to Eco Episode 3. So, if you watched the last episode, you noticed that I went ahead while I was off camera, did the grind, got all this wood collected, got a bunch of stone collected, just to kind of help you not be completely bored to death watching this while I cut trees down and break stones. So, I also took the roof off my house because we are going to need to go floor high to have a little bit more space inside to have multiple machines. So, we are going to start working on that first. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's okay. We already have hewn logs made, so... We're also going to extend this out by one, maybe two. So that we can put two carpentry three benches side by side right here. the doorway here. Right there. Right there. Yeah, pretty easy to edit out. We'll put that over on this corner. Okay, we'll use these to build it up to the fourth high. I always put the wall pieces on the corners. I just think it looks better. Oh, sorry, I dropped my notes. Oh, that's not what I want. Ah! Sorry, trying to get my bearings back on the I was working on. Okay. Let's take out a couple levels of sand. Can does this make the small wood cart or is it a carpentry table? Because that would be handy. I would need boards from a carpentry table. And I don't have a roof right now. Okay, for the sake of not having to run so far, we're going to make a little room in here to throw sand in. That way I can just scoop and throw. I filled it up with logs putting down a bajillion trees. Deforestation at its finest. But that's okay because we're going to replant all those a little bit later. You don't have to dig two down. You only have to dig one down if you want your ground, your floor to be flush with... I don't like having to put stairs to go up. I like the floor to be like inset. I guess is the word. But since we're going to need all this sand for pitch and for already, hey, fine. You go there. You go there. You go there. Okay. Um, for pitch, for research, we need sand for quite a few things, and I don't like digging up the beach. So, ah, that was an epic fail. Because of that, we're going to just use the sand from under our house. Assuming we actually scoop it. There we go. I guess I could have done this part off camera too. Oh well. Some of it, y'all have to sit through the grind with me. Your stuff like cutting trees though. Usually turning um, different stones into stone. I'll even do that on camera. But lumbering is just so tedious and you have to do so much of it. At least in the beginning because you need so much to get your house built. Once we're just getting a little bit here and there and adding to it, that's not that big of a deal. Fill it in. Please. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm going to have uh, logs there. Okay. Let's see. Where are they? I want to work on this area first so I can get the carpentry table back up so we can make more hewn logs. I really don't want to have to make them on the workbench. It's just so many extra resources. I would prefer saving those. 
I don't want to have to spend another hour or something cutting down logs. And if I do, I do, but I prefer not to. Let's turn those into windows. Window. Back to the wall. So yeah, we're gonna have to make some hewn logs on the workbench. So let's get those queued up for the roof. Two hundred of them out of fifty on the carpentry table. It pains me. No. 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 It's only hold fifteen, so good. That's the end, so wall. Wall. door looks like there. Get back to the window. Not where that needs to be. That's the other piece. It was. That'll probably look better once we put our door on it. little hallway. Oh, well, that's not, I mean, it's just a starter house, so we'll make it work and we'll beautify it later. Did I really just do that again? I did. too soon again. I need the extra meters from the extra layer. You'll see though as we go, the house will come together and look a whole lot better. My go-go gadget arm. Let me get up here. We're gonna go out some, but we'll do that later. I don't have like how it looks, but again, this is just our temporary home. It's not where we belong. Just windows and rooms that we're passing through. complicated like rising world to put roofs on so I'm not having to build these crazy scaffolds and stuff. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it without going into flight, but it's working pretty well. And if you are an admin on a multiplayer server or you are the on a single player server, you can always just type in forward slash fly, enter, and then hit spacebar, and you can fly. When you type forward slash fly again to stop flying. I try and not do that because I do consider it to be like a not a legit gameplay. It's whatever you prefer. I try and play the games 100% the way they were intended. Then part of me sometimes is like, well, they intended you to fly or they want to put it in there. Um, let's go ahead and use 
think I should love to start coming out. At least got that sealed up to where we can use this now to make more new mugs. Okay, so let's say we want 25, no, we're gonna want 100 new mugs. Now it's only taking 70 logs instead of 200 before we started. So let's queue those up and get those going. While that's going, we'll grab some that are already done. And to get your experience points to build faster to where you do get a star sooner, or you can level up sooner in that star you already have, is what I meant to say. I'm still stuck on the skill tree. The yeah, the skill points tree, so it's hard to adjust the stars now. But if you do bigger orders instead of doing a whole bunch of tiny ones, it will get you leveled up faster to where how much you need in resources will come down. Like it starts with two logs. The conference table starts with, yeah, I think that starts with two logs, too. Either way, by the time you get up to level seven, it will be four logs to, I'm sorry, four hewn logs to one log. It's like 0.25, which is very helpful. in the water. I knew I was going to do that again. Come down. This will just make one giant room that we can add on to as we go. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll put our door here, which will not break that room so that we can still utilize it. Let's go make another carpentry table so that we can have that double working. Carpentry table. So what other tables can we get going? We need a fishery so that we can make a fish trap to have more protein until we can go hunting. Um, on this one, we need a masonry table so that we can make some of that stuff. For now, we're just going to make one. If we end up putting a star on that, I'll probably make a second one then. table we can go get that out I don't have a need for a store but I will um, make one and show how that works also just a bit should you be on multiplayer and you need the store that you know how to work it uh, what am I looking for the research table that's right research table is how you research certain skills some of them you can just unlock from the jump. Others you have to uh, actually research the scroll and learn it before you can you can put a star in it. Like if we go, say we go to carpenter, and we want to do lumber, it will tell you lumber is undiscovered. A player can research it at the research table to unlock it, which is telling you you have to do the research. You got to do the work. You can't just throw it down. Can we put this in here now that we made it a fourth layer? Actually, you know what? Let's see. Under status, it's only 72 now, so no. I can put a second tree carpent table, second carpentry table in there, but that's going to be it. I don't really care if the research table is linked to stockpiles because so many things are storage chest things that you have to put things that can be stored in a storage chest you use to research. It's not often stockpile only items as you can see it's not going to pop up yet because the room requirements are not met it is not contained within a room so if you look on the top left it'll show red which means that is not ready to be used until you complete this room you can't use it so let's get that worked on let's go ahead and grab our masonry table and our fishery Or, I'm sorry, carpentry table, I'm not for sure. Look at this. Are you done? You sound done. I don't hear any. Ah, my hand's full. 
All right. Let us put this up. Place that one there, and we'll place this one right beside it. This I want to make some boards. Uh, and this is two to one ratio. I'll show you. If you see, you get two boards for every one you make. So we want it to make. Uh, we'll start with twenty logs, which is forty boards, and we're already running out of logs again. Oh, we need a butchery table, but that's not even unlocked yet because we haven't researched it. So right now let's focus on getting the rest of the house built so that we can get research going. I mean, if we need to, I can always take the carpentry table out, put the research table in there temporarily. But we don't really have to do that. So let's just, we have the resources, let's use them. We do have more logs than that. I guess that's just all it's going to be right now. We lose a bunch. I forgot about that. I was going to say, I thought we had like 500 logs. I don't think we went through those already, but you really do go through them so fast in this game that it wouldn't surprise me. And if you're running short on hewn logs and you want to get the research table going to unlock something, you can always just like, we could end this room here. Like, create a room. Put a wall in here to close all this up, and then that will start working. But since I think we have plenty of human logs, we're just gonna... Like I said earlier, I generally make my workstation like one giant room. Sometimes I'll separate the rooms and put certain machines of a certain category in that room. It just depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling froggy enough to do that, if I want to just do one big room. Doing separate rooms though is probably the best way to do it for certain machines because you have to have so many, you only have so many things in a room that tells you how big the room is and that's how many machines can be uh, running in it. Sorry, I keep dropping my mouse. My carpal tunnel is like really acting up lately, so I don't have much strength in that hand. A little too much recording on a little too many uh, series. My own fault for that. However, I got carpal tunnel from working too much, so it wasn't uh, from gaming or anything. to think if we want basic engineering next I want to our next star three hours that's not bad we have while I was logging and getting all that off camera um, we got another star so trying to figure out where I want to place that next because I would like a cart because it will I don't usually get the small cart I want to go straight for the big one the small one doesn't hold much but for the sake of we don't have that skill right now we don't even have it researched yet We'll just go ahead and get a small cart. 
You're traveling further to do more things, though. Like, if you have to go to your tree farm to collect resources, which we'll end up having to do once we get that going. I'll have to put my tree farm in somewhere. But, uh, you'll want the bigger cart to get places. Because the small cart does not hold much at all. Um, are you not reaching? Oh, it's your just not linked. I don't want you to pull from there. Let's do... 100 more human bombs. Let's do 200 more human bombs. That's 120 regular logs, which will leave us 125 logs. That will work. Um, go ahead and place some of these tables down. The masonry table we want by the stones, because that's what it's going to pull from. Oops. It helps if I hit the right button. So, we'll put you there. not make it yet. I don't remember now. Let's see. Repair we got. Research we got. We got that. We can't get the farmer's table yet because we don't have farming. We got the fishery. We got the masonry. We got the carpentry. Okay. Let's go to the carpentry table. Do you give us the butchery? We can now get sent back to the wood pile. Oh, and now we have our cart. Carts do weigh a lot, so if you look over here on the bottom right, it tells you how full your backpack is. Once that gets to the red, you actually can't carry anymore. The big carts weigh a lot more, though. We need. We can do a butchery table. Get that ready. Once we get that scroll. Tailoring, we'll need also we we'll need more boards for that. So here, let's make some more boards. Let's make 40 more boards. And again, that's two to one, so uh, on that. grab some hewn logs. I prefer those to be in a storage chest, but I guess for now they're fine in there. Anything that doesn't have to be in a stockpile ends up showing, like, this little crate. And for whatever reason, those drive me crazy. I like the stockpiles to look clean and pretty and all the crates and randomness in there drive me insane. So, if it can go in a storage chest, that's where I put it. But I try to keep those ex extra organized, too. It is very helpful when you can just, I mean, this game is not that big of a deal because you can go to any storage chest and access another one. Let's take our butchery table, if it's linked, but it's just easier for me to know where everything is, especially with some of the stuff I deal with. Okay, this is a tier one. You saw that just popped up, which means it's now ready to be used. So, the research table. First scroll I always get is basic engineering, mainly because it's only 10 human logs. So it's not an expensive scroll to get. So we're going to order that. After that, uh, we have the corn seed. And this tells you what you need. We have the five corn seed. We five, have five huckleberry seed. We have to go find for many mushrooms, which we'll go exploring for that in a little bit, uh, to get the farming scroll. Um, we need to also go hunting get the butchery scroll, we need three rabbit, three elk, and a bison. Let's see. We also want to get cooking. Can't get cooking though until we can smelt. So I guess we will start with... Oh, so much to do. Where to start? Ah! Let's go find the Kermini mushrooms to get the other, to get the farming scroll. That will help us with food so we can get our farm crops and stuff going. Which we, well. We 
let's do this. Let's work on the house for the rest of this episode. Next episode, we will go out venturing, getting the carcasses we need for the butchery scroll and to open up the butchery table. Because, like, we can put it down. This is another one that does not have to be linked because all carcasses can be held kept in the chest. This will be moved once I have the kitchen done. Anything cooking related I put in its own room. But you can't use this at all until you had the butchery scroll at least unlocked. And then you can only use it for some things, not all things. So let's work on that next episode. This episode we're just going to focus on the house. That way too we can also go and collect wheat, more huckleberries, certain things that you need for to unlock the advanced campfire cooking recipes. That sounds like a plan to me. Let us go. I'm gonna come out this way more and then come no we'll put we wanna come out that way more. And then come back. Or do we just wanna go back? We can put a stockpile here. Let's get this cleared out so that we can... The carts you can also click on and type something. I usually put my name on it because on multiplayer... Oh, wait, I'm honest. <laughs> my other game. I have my other nickname. And then on the front, it'll have whatever you typed. Um, in multiplayer, I like the names on the cart because it... Like sometimes we'll be working as a team to do a bunch of stuff and everybody's cart kind of mixed together. Now if somebody's not authorized on your cart, which you do that by opening it up and clicking on authorization, then it says add user. It's just me here so I can't add anybody, but if they're not authorized on your cart, if they even try and go over it or pick it up, it'll just show red and it'll say you're not authorized. Which is a good thing. It kind of it protects your stuff to where thievery is not even allowed. But let's clear this area out real fast. We can put another stockpile and have it even with the rest. One more. I think it's five, so we'll leave a space to walk in. So one, two, three, four, five. Clear this out just so it's going to get in the way. And we need to get our mining skill up anyway, so that when we go to do our tailings mine, we can just hit everything once. That would be fabulous. I know you can pick the other talent, which is like to pick up multiple rocks of the same kind or something like that, but I personally don't see a use in that. I would rather hit everything once and it breaks. Excuse me. Yes, I walked the wrong way that time. No! That was an accident. I hate when I do that. I'll just fill that up with a piece of dirt toast. All good. Well, let's get one piece of dirt. Left shift click on it, and then you can get one. And... Our basic engineering scroll is now finished. Okay, we can now fit a stock part in. Stock pile. You can click on the cart and drag things out of it into the stock piles, which makes it easier than having to do all the running around. For now, we're going to move this over to right. Tree, you gotta go, because you're like right where I'm trying to work here. Hop over these. Make another stockpile. I know it might seem like we have enough right now, but you'll have curls in pretty quickly. Okay. Now, actually, I need the cart back. Just kidding, cart. We need you again. You can push the cart forward. It is a lot harder to manage. The wheelbarrow, I don't even get because it's just too hard to control. 
Or you can just pull it behind you, which is a lot simpler. Right, let me take some more of this up. So we can build this way. Ah! I'm not going to go too down on this one. For me, it's easier to, as I'm putting it all together, to put the stock files that coincide with the machine that they're going to be mainly working off of close to them. Like I said, I think it's 10 or 12 that it links. 10 or 12 blocks apart. But if they don't link, I'll show you some shortcuts to, to get them to kind of sort of link without having to go all over the place. The kitchen that we're going to make, I'm not going to make it huge to begin with because we are it'll take us a little bit to get all the machines for cooking. I believe it's five or six different machines that you'll end up with to get all the cooking scroll, um, skills that all make different things. It might even be seven. I, I think it's five, though. I don't remember now. I haven't done the cooking side on the multiplayer in a while. Somebody else always wants it, so I've been doing the tailoring and lumbering carpentry because it's our server I pretty much let everybody decide what they want to do and I just fill in the, em the empty spots I go where I'm needed I could be mean and say it's my server I'm taking this but yeah it's the whole fun in the co-op is letting everybody do what they enjoy I can do a little of everything and be happy going to be able to do for today because I am babysitting and she should be waking up from her nap shortly. But like I've said previously, it is easier for me to bolt record, or I think it's called batch recording, where I'll record five or six episodes in one sitting because I do three different games versus one at a time to just jump between each game and only do one episode, I would spend longer trying to remember where I was at than playing the game, so. I prefer batch recording. And then there's a day two, if, I, if I'm busy tomorrow and I don't have time to record, I already have it recorded so I can just upload, which is extremely helpful, especially when you deal with some of the things I deal with. Not every day are you mentally able to do the things you want to do. So it's pre-done, and if it's that bad, then I'll just have my husband upload it for me. That works too. Get some more flooring in here. Alright, we're gonna need a lot more new logs. Yo, carpentry table. Look at this. Oh. Just know, though, if you play on a multiplayer server and queuing is one of your specialties, expect everybody to be asking you if they can bring you logs so that you can make them hewn logs, because, and that's part of it, I mean, that's part of the co-op, part of what makes it fun, I like doing it, but, uh, there's a lot of times you're gonna stop what you're doing to make hewn logs for players, because that's what the co-op thing is all about. But a lot of times, too, almost every player you get on a server, unless they are really into the full co-op, everybody gets hewing. So you usually have plenty of people you can ask. Smaller servers, not so much. Everybody works together more as a team on those. Those are the ones I enjoy the most. So 
I like having to like stop what I'm doing and go queue up an order for somebody. Or you can always go to their claim, queue it up on their workbench because then they get your um, skill on it. But then if you do that, do not forget to link it to a stockpile. They might have it already linked, but you have to link it yourself since you're queuing it up. Otherwise, they can't collect it. They can't do anything. It just sits there. And that can get aggravating when you're waiting on it and the player's not on and you can't do anything with it. I might end up taking out all the interior walls and just, like I said, make one giant room. But for now, the walls make it to where you can do smaller things and put machines in faster. I will say though was probably one of the most overwhelming games when I first started playing it just as how much there was to learn and and do and it does not take much to get me all jumbled up and confused with some of the stuff I have going on so yeah but with that being said if I could figure it out I'm pretty sure almost anybody can I know plenty of people have said they got on the game, they tried to play it, it was just too much. But I mean, if you do the tutorial alone, it gives you a pretty good insight. Like, I tried doing Rise of Industries, which is like a really fun game, and I got the demo. And for whatever reason, my brain could not figure out how to work that game. Which, I've seen people play, and it doesn't look that complicated, but maybe it was just a bad brain day. thinking we might just take this whole wall out once we get this done and just make this one giant room it's so hard to and I know it's just my temporary one but it's still hard to figure out what I want to do with it one thing I know for sure is that the kitchen part where I put all the cooking machines will be separate. But I do have the most fun in that one. I really like the cooking skill. The way they did it was... It's a lot of fun. I do wish it didn't take so many stars to do different parts of the cooking. But that is the way the game was made. When I first took the said on one of the multiplayer servers when I first started playing, I was like, yeah, I'll be the chef, you know. No big deal. I had no idea that that also includes being the advanced campfire cooking, cooking, advanced cooking, baking, advanced baking, and like three other culinary arts and milling. And there's so many skills you need to be able to cook. It was insane. But I enjoy it so much that it takes a little while to get them all, but it's so it, it was fun. I liked it. funny because I absolutely hate cooking in real life so maybe that's why I like it so much. Okay, am 
might send that out. Other times I just have to focus on what I'm doing, I guess. I can't really think about other things. Not that doing something like this is that complicated, just how my brain works. Some days I am on point, other days not so much. And that's another reason I like doing these episodes with my garden pause, my time at Portia. There's other characters in the game, so other people well, NPCs that you can interact with and give yourself something to talk about. if I want to make one big workshop area or just for now make one big workshop area adjust it as we go yeah let's do that when we start taking it down to put lumber up and we're adjusting it we can make different rooms well, that sounds good left. How many mini blocks can we make with that? Let's just scroll. Okay, so 80 is 32. have this be oh it's so hard okay, we'll take this wall out walls I will put up later once I know what we're doing this probably should go out more but I'll uh, we'll worry about that later too Right now we just need a big square house. We can get fancy with it when we upgrade it. I do have to keep telling myself this is only a tier 1 house. We are going to soon have to build a tier 2 house. And then a tier 3 house. So we'll just be adding on higher tiers and workshops and such. Doesn't have to be fancy. This is our starter home.
sake of not having to go spend another two hours cutting trees down to get more logs for human logs to make walls. I'm going to go with the easier route versus complicated since I can't end in the time crunch and I'm on little bits time when she wakes up, I am done. And then once she goes home, I have to get on and record my episode of my time at Porsche tonight. I did garden pause last night, so and today was eco and tonight will be my time at Porsche. I'm so ready to move along that storyline in that game. I have so much fun with it, but in my personal playthrough I'm so much further and it gets so much more fun and interesting a little bit later, so like, okay, let's get this storyline moving. If you don't play that game, that game is hands down probably my favorite game out of all games. That Garden Pods is also, it really just depends on the mood I'm in. They're similar, but different, if that even makes sense. But yeah, I, my time at Porsche, I have spent so much time on. I don't even know how the game ends. Does it end? Because, I mean, it's kind of like... You can get married, you can have babies, I mean, you can get divorced, what happened? I just, I don't know, I haven't got that far. I just started dating somebody in the game, so. I'm very curious how the storyline goes. I do have some YouTubers that I like to watch, but I don't want to watch too far up in front of myself, because I don't want to ruin the storyline. However, they are dating different people than I am, so the storyline will be different and change. I like games like that, though, that as you go, the storyline changes, like, you kind of choose the outcome. Because, like, I enjoy Rising World, but there are some days that I have no idea what I want to build, so to have a game that will tell me, hey, this is your quest, I need you to do this today, or this is the commission I need you to do today, it helps me to just have a, somewhere to go, not just mindless building. Okay, that is officially our room is now a room. So we're pretty much taking this wall up. Our hammer is pretty much dead. And let's, ah, I'm full. Okay, let's put these up. Finish with this wall. like an echo in here now. That's funny. Uh, we'll put those up. Let's see how big it is. 632 meters. So we are good for quite a few tables. That will work. Let's put the weighing right table over for us. Mm, is that backwards? I don't know, but I like the way that looks better. Fishery, we'll put over here with the cooking stuff. I don't need it to attach to a stockpile, so I can put that on a back wall. That looks backwards. Which was there we go. This needs to be moved. Oh yeah, I, sorry, I forgot we had a book on it. We did that basic engineering scroll earlier, I forgot about. Let's just put that in the center of everything. Well, okay, I was going to say, why did you not pop up? Now, we just got this basic engineering scroll that's finished. So to learn it, you right-click on it, and then you pretty much essentially eat the scroll. You right-click on the scroll to learn it. Now it says you've learned a new skill, basic engineering. Because by right-clicking on food, that's how you eat it. So if you ever hear me say eat the scroll or eat the skill, that's generally what I'm talking about. Okay, let's... Doors I'm not probably going to put on on. It's just a single player world, so I don't really see a point in putting an actual door on. Unless it's for like aesthetic reasons. Which then we may. Okay, let's go ahead and I guess we can put a star in basic engineering so that we can make the larger cart. Oh, we can pick a talent in queuing. We have frugal workspace lowers the tier requirement of related tables by two. 
or increases the chair requirement of tables by two but reduces resources by 10%. I always do reduce resources. Okay, and then we have mining. We have a skill in this. We can either do lowers the calorie cost of using related tool by 20% or increase the tier of related tool by one. We're going to increase the tier so that we can break more things. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Did I even get the basic engineering scroll? I forgot. Or skill. Engineer. Basic engineering. Do we want that or hunting? Honestly, for now, I think we need to go with hunting because we've got to get butchery and tailoring. And with it being single player, it's pretty much going to be necessary. When you get the hunting scroll, you get a bow and 20 arrows to start with. So let's go ahead, before we end the episode, and get some more arrows queued up, which that's the wrong table. And you can bring these workbenches that you have outside and inside. Some people like to do that. I may or may not. I don't know yet. Uh, oh, I forgot. I am out of logs. Okay, we'll take the logs from the campfire because we got all of our food cooked already. Uh, you make us... The reason you make was eight logs. 32 arrows. And we already have 20. So that'll be... I mean, that's a start. Oh, I need logs for the storage chest. Okay, well, we're going to put this, which I don't ever do, but we're just going to put it in this storage chest because uh, we'll use the land claims next episode. You can see how that works if you're on a server. I usually keep all the uh, scrolls together. You can't throw them away. There's not really anything you can do with the book, but you can make multiple copies. So if you're on a server, you can keep right-clicking on it. Ah, I forgot about a log. And you can share it in the distribution center, which I will make and show you guys how that works on a future episode, to, just so that you know. So if you are on a server, you can kind of know how some of the stuff works. Um, I guess let's throw the stockpile down before we end. We have gone over our time, but I guess it's my time. Uh, I do want a gap. I want to be able to walk in between them. We'll place that there. That will work. And next episode, or the one after that, we will also work on... Let's go ahead and move this. Um, oh, I just lost what I was going to say. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, always pick up your cart before you log off, because the game does have a glitch, and sometimes the cart will disappear. They said that was fixed, but it also does show back up in places you did not leave it for me, at least. And for quite a few people I've talked to also, so I always pick up the cart or put it in a chest or have it on me. Anywhere but just sitting there. Let's take our arrows. Let's move those back over here. Land claims we will do uh, on a future episode, so we're going to just put them up for now our claim stakes up too because next episode we're going to work on focus on hunting and getting the butchery scroll oh, let's put our food in so oh yeah I was moving the sand I forgot what I was doing and that's full right, let's go get some dirt ramps made real fast have like 20 dirt ramps pre-queued up or like 200 on the workbench. You can queue up to five different jobs at once and that way as I'm clearing stuff out and putting dirt in stockpiles instead of it building up it'll just automatically keep making dirt ramps for me. Which is nice when you're trying to start building up and out. Like we're going to have to put the ramps in to be able to get our cart up and down the hill when we build our farm and our tree farm and all that fun stuff but that will be it for this episode since it's gone over hope you enjoyed it sorry if uh it's just really slow in the beginning but that is the world of eco so hope to see you next time i forgot what i was about to say
Oh, when gaming. <laughs> Fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. I'm not having a good brain day. Bye-bye.